Hi Year 4, this is just a quick video to go over some of the methods that were in the division lessons from this week. So we're going to go through together some of the partitioning methods um, to make sure that people are feeling confident with it. So the first question I'm going to look at is 96 divided by 4. Okay, when I'm doing this I use a part whole method to help me partition. So 96 is my whole and I need to split it into parts. It's really important that I pick parts that are easily divided by the number I'm dividing by. So in this case, I'm dividing by four. So when I'm thinking about partitioning, I'm not going to partition it into 90 and six because I know those numbers aren't easily divided by four. So I need to spot some patterns in my numbers to help me so that I find numbers that can be divided by four to make it easier for myself. So I know that the number eight goes into four, so I know that 80 must go into four. So I'm going to partition the number 96 into 80. Okay, and this part is going to be a number that adds to 80 to make 96. So I know 80 add 16 makes 96. Okay, and I know that 16 is also a multiple of four, so it can be divided by four. So now I need to divide both parts by four. So 80 divided by four. I know eight divided by four is two and 80 is 10 times bigger. So I know that 80 divided by four is 20. I can count up in my 20s and just double check that's correct. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Now I'm going to do 16 divided by four. I'm going to count up in my fours until I say 16. Four, eight, 12, 16. So that's four. Now I need to put my two parts back together to get my answer. So 20 add four is 24. So that tells me that 96 divided by four is 24. Okay, you could always use the inverse to check your answer. So you could do 24 multiplied by four. And if you get 96 as your answer, then you're correct. Okay, let's have a look at another example. So this time we're going to do a three digit number divided by a one digit number. So I'm looking at 726 divided by three. Okay, again, when I'm partitioning 700 and se 726, I need to be careful about the numbers I partition into and make sure they're easy to divide by three. So for example, it's not a good idea for me to partition my number into hundreds, tens and ones in this example, because I don't know easily what 700 divided by three is. So I'm not going to pick those numbers because they're not very helpful for me. Okay, but I do know that six is a multiple of three, so 600 is a multiple of three. Okay, so I'm thinking now, I've only done 600 out of my 700, what do I need to add to make 726? So I'm going to use some tens and ones, so I'm going to do 120 here and six here. So I partition the 720 part into 600 and 120, okay, because they were easier to divide by three. So now I can start dividing. So 600 divided by three, I know that six divided by three is two. So 600 divided by three, which is just a hundred times bigger, is going to be 200. Okay, next, I'm looking at 120 divided by three. I know that 12 divided by three is four. So again, 120 is just 10 times bigger than 12. So my answer needs to be 10 times bigger. So four multiplied by 10 is 40. Okay, and six divided by three, we know. Six divided by three is two. Now I can put my numbers back together. So 200, add 40, add two. So my answer is 242. So remember, when you're partitioning and using this method to help you divide, it's really important that the numbers you are dividing by are, e sorry, the numbers that you partition into are easily divided by this number. That's what you need to make sure that you're using because otherwise you can't divide that way. So make sure you're using numbers that can be easily divided by the number you're dividing by. Okay, you might have to have a think about those numbers to help you.